What's the difference between DCI-P3, Rec. 709, and different color profiles? And how much color information can your camera actually capture? Your eyes can capture a very wide range of color, but your camera can only capture a subset of that range. That subset is defined by color space. A triangle on the CIE 1931 diagram tells you which hues can be reproduced and what color information is retained depending on the color profile you're using. Rec. 709 is the HD standard and especially used for broadcast. It's small, fast, and easy to grade, however it clips saturated colors, reds, and greens. DCI-P3 is wider and it's used for digital cinema projection. It preserves more color, especially for HDR and large format viewing. Rec. 2020 is a newer version and it retains way more information, however it is hard to display color accurately unless you're working with very high-end and HDR monitors. And ACES is a color management system that allows you to capture and grade with the widest array of color possible. And it also helps transform the output. Your camera captures in one color space usually a wide gamut. Some examples include Sony S Gamut 3 or Canon Cinema Gamut. But your final video will almost always be output to something narrower, such as Rec. 709. Color profiles define how your image data is interpreted. Log curves, for example, compress color information into a curve so that it is retained and flexible to use in post. RAW skips most of that processing and lets you decide later what you choose to do with the information. However, more compressed formats mean that you are defining how much color information you will be keeping while you're shooting and therefore you do not have access to this information in post. That's why when you're shooting and you want flexibility in color grading and in post-production, make sure that you shoot in the most uncompressed forms possible.